landed. Hey guys, how you doing? It's Arnold from Out in the Clouds and welcome to my space station. Today's episode, I'm going to show you how to set up your web to lead between a WordPress site and Salesforce. There are two reasons why you should set up web to lead between your website and CRM. Firstly, it's time efficient. From all the people visiting your website and logging an inquiry, a lot of the web to lead forms end up just being sent out as emails with all the data in there. It'll go ahead and save you a lot of time re-entering that data into your CRM. Secondly, it's effective. It's effective because you can go ahead and have some additional fields in each form to be able to report on them. You can report on the time the lead came in to the time that they were contacted and to the time that that lead can then get converted into an opportunity for your business. Let's go ahead and check this out on the computer. All right, guys, now that we've logged into Salesforce, let's go to the backend setup. Once we're in the backend setup, using Quick Find, we can search for web to lead. Once the page is loaded, you can go ahead and click edit and it'll give you a few options to edit from. We can go ahead and change the default lead creator to be another Salesforce user if required. We can also go ahead and make recapture verification mandatory. Apart from that, the last option that it gives you is default response template. Uh, and this is essentially when an inquiry is submitted, the person will get a reply back via email, advising them that you have received their lead. And you can state in there the period of time in which they can expect it to be contacted. Once we've gone ahead and verified that those settings are correct, all we need to do is cl click on Create Web to Lead Form. Now on the left-hand side here, you'll notice these are all the different fields available in the lead object in Salesforce. And on the right-hand side, these are the selected fields by default for the Web to Lead Form. So we definitely want first name, last name, and email. Company, city, and state, we don't require, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that. I'm, I am going to go ahead and add in phone number, and I'll also add in a description. Now this description field, we can go ahead and use it uh, as a comments field for people to let us know the reason why they're inquiring. Down the bottom here, you'll notice there is a return URL. This return URL, um, once filled out, will go ahead and take the person that submits the form to that particular URL. That could end up being a thank you page or that could end up being the home page of your website. In this case, I do not want to go ahead and set up recapture as we're doing a demo. So once I'm ready, I'll go ahead and hit generate and it's going to go ahead and generate a whole bunch of code for us. In this code, it's going to have things like the Salesforce organization ID um, and also all the different fields that we've gone ahead and selected for the form. The next step for you to do is copy the fields and go ahead and put it into your web to lead or your contact page. Now I've gone ahead and already done that. Uh, so I'll go ahead and flick through to this particular um, test page that I've spun up. As you can see, it's got the first name, last name, email, phone, description, and a submit button. So for the purpose of this, let's go ahead and submit a lead. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my name. And I'm going to just put in a dummy phone number. And put in a, uh, a dummy description and click the submit button. Once I click the submit button, you'll notice that it's gone ahead and redirected you to our Out on the Clouds page. And it should go ahead and now push the lead into Salesforce. So let's go to All Open Leads in Salesforce. And as you can see, 
The details that I previously entered on the website are now in Salesforce. So we grabbed the name, we didn't grab the company, we didn't grab the title, the lead source by default was set to website, and we grabbed the phone number. And that's how easy it is to go ahead and set up your web to lead from your website to Salesforce. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's episode. If you have any queries or questions, please email spacestation at outinthecouds.com. Take care.